Okay, so what I have here is some goldfish. And pouring some goldfish in my pan, aluminum pan here. And I'm going to pour in some liquid nitrogen. And as we've talked about in other demonstrations, very cold. And the very warm air that had water vapor in it became fog when the cold liquid nitrogen hits that. So we're seeing fog dissipated because there was warm air inside of these goldfish. I like to do goldfish because you break them up, they're, they're hollow inside. It's a little hollow um, part in there, okay, allows for a pocket of air to get really cold. So that, that initial fog, and you're still seeing it, okay, that warm air that was in here with the water vapor that was locked in that air uh, with that cold air is being forced to become a little liquid a suspended droplet cold fog. So I'm just going to make sure I get all of the warm air cold. In fact, I'm trying to make that air in that little pocket, okay, that we just showed you, all right, to be um, about the same temperature. You can see because of the dissipation of the fog, we definitely have that going on. Now, of course, the cold liquid nitrogen, too, is making the uh, warm air with the vapor become also into a liquid, so it's hard to know exactly when that is, but this will be enough. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to eat these. Now you may say, my gosh, liquid nitrogen. Well, something called a leaden frost effect is a phenomenon which if you, you say, well, you can't touch liquid nitrogen. Well, I just did, and I certainly wouldn't do this in front of kids to show them that you can do this, but your warm hand is so warm compared to the liquid that when the liquid nitrogen touches your finger, it immediately vaporizes, but it actually makes the, a vapor protect itself. So a liquid liquid drop hits my finger, okay, or my tongue in this instance, that, that liquid nitrogen is going to vaporize so fast because your, 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 your mouth or your hand or your tongue is 220 kelvins higher than its boiling point. So what's going to happen there, it's going to vaporize immediately once it touches and it creates a vapor that protects the other liquid from sitting on it. So you have evaporation on your hot surface. You ever seen water on a skillet what kind of hot skillet that beads over. It's the same idea. The bottom layer is evaporating. The top layer is being protected by that um, vapor coming upward. So we have an insulation air, or at least it's a vapor boiling, and that gap protects the liquid from sitting on top of your hand. So in any case, let's start this again. And I'm just going to put some more liquid nitrogen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in my mouth. Okay? And when I do so... I should get a nice effect of fog. And the reason why I should get fog is because, well, very simply, these very cold gaps of air trapped in the uh, goldfish, that cold air, not so much liquid nitrogen, is going to hit my uh, respiratory gases that come out of my lungs, mostly water vapor and, and of course, CO2. And the water vapor, okay, with a much, much higher uh, boiling point, condensation point than the other gases, of course, is going to become a condensation point higher, I should say, becomes a liquid again. So take some. Very cold. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of stale fit, but what the heck. I'm not a smoker. So, it's pretty neat effect. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>